LASIK eye surgery may be a thing of the past because a brand new laser-free vision correction technique uses electrical current to reshape your eye. And I want to clarify a very low electrical current. And this new technology is not only safer than LASIK, but it has better outcomes for your overall vision and maybe even cheaper. It's a very, very impressive piece of technology. Uh, but what they're doing is they are using a mild electric current and a temporary pH shift in your eye to use the collagen that you already have to fit your eyes over a 3D printed lens and bend the cornea in that shape. What you're looking at here is an image of a cornea that is slightly bent out of shape. What they will do is put this lens cap on you, which is the proper shape, then stimulate it with a current, which will ever so barely change the pH balance of the collagen in your eyes. And once that happens, they're more pliable, they're more bendable, moldable, which is the goal of you know LASIK or wearing contacts or glasses or anything like that is to change the shape of the focus. But we're able to use the natural cornea that's already there to reshape the eye into the correct shape and when you're done you just stop administering the signal you pull the lens cap off give the patient a little bit of recovery time and their eyes will recover to have that particular shape ready to go which will be better uh, for them in general this technique is known as electromechanical reshaping and it was detailed by researchers from the occidental college of the university of california irvine Here's one important part that I almost skipped over. Once the electrical current stops, the pH balance returns to normal and then the cornea hardens again and holds its mold fitted shape. This whole process takes about a minute, requires no cutting of tissue, and so far has shown no structural damage or cell death in the tested samples. The researchers believe that this technique could completely replace LASIK surgery, which sounds just downright awesome to me.